guys, welcome to my Curious Craft. This is Shane, and in today's video, we're going to be making a burlap wreath using the ruffle method. Let's get started. I'm giving you a close up so that you can see exactly what I'm doing to begin to attach the burlap to the wire wreath form. Keep watching. doing as you can see is making sure that both sides are even and scrunching it up you'll want to make sure that you're fluffing out your burlap periodically so that you're achieving the desired look As you can see, we're nearing the end of the section. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing because there's a break here. I'm going to continue to do the same thing. Hi you guys, sorry to interrupt, but if you like what you see so far, why don't you consider subscribing? It's free, plus you won't miss any of my future uploads. Now I'm going to show you how to tie off one roll of burlap and to begin another roll of burlap. I do this a couple of times in the video to ensure that you know exactly what I'm doing. Here I just want to fluff it out a little bit and make sure that it's full and to my liking. If you guys consider trying this ruffle method on a burlap wreath, let me know. Tag me on Facebook. Okay, here we go, beginning a new roll. Get your Chanel stem, place it through the burlap, tie it one time then go underneath the ring tie it again come back above the ring tie it off again and begin pulling the burlap through evenly and scratching okay here's another crossbar we just continue I told you I did it several times in the video. Now you can see exactly what I'm doing. This is the exact same method that you would use if you're wanting to use multiple colors of burlap. And in an upcoming video, I will be showing you exactly how to use multiple colors of burlap. Stay tuned for that. Real quickly, I wanna remind you guys about Bow Wednesday. And this coming Wednesday, I will be introducing the Pro Bow the Hand and also the Bodabra. See you then. Okay, we've went completely around the second ring. Now we need to go around the third ring. The method would be the same. No matter what ring you're on, you would do the same thing. Hey, you guys, make sure that you use good scissors. Do not use these duds that I just picked up. I don't even know why they're there. I get out of frame a little bit here, but I quickly get back in, so bear with me. Just a little bit of last minute fluffing. This is the final look of my project. 
I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and visiting with me. Please remember that I post weekly videos. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.